Saxon Math Course 2. We are in Lesson 42, and today we're going to be talking about uh, repeating decimals. Re what is a repeating decimal? Well, when you do division problems, like you see on page 302, and I decided not to do those uh, lengthwise because you can see them, 6 divided uh, into 43 gives 7.16666, and then you see the uh, ellipses, or those periods after that, which means it indefinitely goes on with the 6, or the 11 uh, into the 3.5 um, goes into 3181818, and it just repeats. All we're looking at is uh, some numbers that just simply repeat after they get to a certain spot. So in this one, in A, which is example one, we have 0 0.083333. So how do we represent this in an actual repeated uh, pattern? So this is the actual answer. In fact, you could probably do it so that's 0 0.083 and cross off this one and put a line over this. That's actually more appropriate, okay? Let me correct my own um, answer here. For this one, you'll note that 5.142857 and then it repeats again, 142857, and then it would do it again, 142857, if we let it. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a line over all of those numbers, and what this means is that it simply, it repeats this number, whatever the line is over. So in this case, it's three, which means threes would continue on uh, if we didn't stop it. This one would just be 142857. This one obviously is 0.54 and you see that um, represented here okay so all we're doing is we're asking to represent those numbers uh, in accordance with what they've repeated so we want to just give a smaller number we don't want to give the entire number but we want to show what is repeated okay all right so let's go to example two and it says round each number to five decimal places so they only give us a few decimal places, like three, but they show it's repeating. So 5.316 is what they give us, and they said to five. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, and that means we need to show the sixth decimal place in order to figure out what it is uh, rounded, okay? Um, so that's fine. We, we can do that relatively easily. Okay, um, and you'll notice here that if we have 3.16, ah, sorry, it's just the 6 that is repeated. Let's do this again. 5.316, and 6 is repeated, so we're going to go through 5.31666. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The 6th number here is going to change this one. So, because this is a six, it's bigger than five, we're gonna change this number here to seven, and the rest of them stay the same. So here is our answer, okay? B, that's A, B is similar, in that it gives us um, 25.405, okay? 405 is repeated. So I'm going to write them all out. Two, three, four, fifth decimal place. Here's our sixth one, so that's going to change this one because it's five. The zero turns into a one, and then we just simply write in all of the other numbers. There's our answer. So we've rounded. That's all we're doing is rounding. Okay? Example three, we're comparing. 0 0.3 and comparing it to 0.3 repeating. All right, and so um, let me finish out writing this the right way. So 0 0.03, and then you see the line over there, which means that it's repeating, okay? So if we wrote this this way to give us just a visual, it would just be 333 3, 3, repeating on and on and on. Well, this number is actually smaller than um, the point 0.3 and it's not equal to the point 0.3 all right so point 0.3 is less than point 0.033 okay so we can write this symbol in here I'll just put it in the right symbol is less than this one 
this is larger than 0.3 okay um, B gave us a number uh, several numbers okay B had point um, six repeating 0 0.6 repeating uh, the next one was just simply 0.6 and the third number was point 0.65 all right couple things to do if we did this if we wrote them all in order okay 0.66666 and repeating if we did 0 0.6 and then 0 0.65 we would understand a little bit by the arranging of this how it works okay so which is the largest number we're talking about range um, and we're doing um, with the comparison it says um, a range from least to greatest okay the smallest is this 0.6 okay the next one is going to be the 0.65 because it terminates in other words it doesn't continue on the one that goes the largest and continues on forever is the last one which has the line over it which is repeating so least to greatest this is our answer and typically all of them um, have that kind of that kind of look all right example four is just the division problem and so you are going to um, divide um, 1.5 by 11 so how we set that up is like this and remember we have to add zeros out here and continue on with our decimal okay so um, we have zero point and then we're going to have one which is 11 four zero we're going to have three which is 33 70 so we're going to have seven or excuse me it's going to be six sorry which is 66 and we have four and you'll notice that we're going to repeat right here because 40 and we go three which is 33 seven and then we're going to go six so it's 0 0.1366336 the three six repeat and uh, we can round that we can round that to um, uh, one point um, we can just say one or point one three six repeating and that can be our answer all right i think you get it hopefully you have an easy time with this lesson if you have any questions please ask